In this video, I'm going to show you the all-new PS5 official gaming headset, the Sony Inzone H9. We'll unbox the headset, get a closer look at some of the features, and then talk about the pros and cons of using this headset with the PlayStation 5. Make sure to leave a like rating, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I noticed when unboxing this headset was the packaging. If I was judging strictly from the box alone, the Sony Inzone H9 doesn't really have that premium unbox feel that you might get with other products, especially at this price point. But that's because Sony is actually attempting to use more renewable packaging with their latest line of products in an attempt to help cut down on plastic waste. Inside the box, you of course have the headset, a wireless transmitter, a USB-C charging cable, and some basic warranty information as well as a reference guide. It is worth mentioning that this headset was designed to work with both the PlayStation 5 as well as PC, but this video will be mostly focused on using this headset with the PlayStation 5. When it comes to features, the Sony Inzone H9 offers active noise cancellation, 360 spatial sound for gaming, simultaneous 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth connectivity, up to 32 hours of battery life, and complete sound profile customization through the Inzone desktop program. On the headset itself, you have both left and right hand controls with buttons for game chat balance, Bluetooth, active noise cancellation, and a volume dial. To connect the Inzone H9 to your PS5, all you have to do is plug the USB transmitter into the console and then power on the headset. You can adjust the settings to your liking and see the settings reflected on screen in the PS5's control center. Sony claims that the Inzone H9 allows you to enjoy the PS5's Tempest 3D audio with even greater spatial expression and detail. I have to say that in my experience, it's definitely an improvement over the original Pulse 3D headset, especially in the 3D audio capability, as well as the high pitch and lower bass frequencies. The active noise cancellation also really adds to the experience and allowing you to be fully immersed into whatever game it is that you're playing. It's actually pretty decent and in my opinion, probably the biggest selling point of the headset. I also really like how comfortable the Inzone H9 is, sporting a lightweight, glasses-friendly design with extra padding. This headset also charges really quick. In fact, just 10 minutes of charging gives you a full hour's worth of playtime. The simultaneous 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth connectivity is also brilliant. You can literally play video games and be on a phone call at the exact same time. But with all that being said, let's talk about the negatives. The biggest drawback of the Inzone H9, in my opinion, is the price tag. This is a $300 headset, which makes it one of the most expensive headsets for the PS5. The problem is that this headset Set leaves a bit to be desired at this price point. In its current state, unlike the Pulse 3D headset, you cannot adjust the audio equalizer for the Inzone H9 directly from the PS5 settings, which means that if you want to make any configurations to your personal audio profiles, you'll have to do it on a PC from the Inzone app. I'm sure that with future updates this will change, but for the time being it's a bit frustrating, especially for a headset that's marketed as perfect for PlayStation 5. It's also unfortunate that the Inzone desktop app is for PC only and not compatible with Mac OS X. If anyone from Sony is somehow watching this video, I actually think a dedicated smartphone app for the Inzone H9 would be an excellent way to adjust the settings without having to rely on a desktop computer. After all, you can literally connect this headset to your PS5 and your smartphone at the exact same time. Maybe that's something that's already in the works, but like everything else, only time will tell. Another thing is that this headset does not have replaceable ear cups, where similar headsets at this price point already do. And last but not least is the microphone sound quality. It's definitely not the worst, but out of the box plugged directly into the PS5, I actually think the microphone from the Pulse 3D headset sounds better than the Inzone H9. It's possible this could be improved with an update, but again, it's hard to excuse, especially when Sony is asking $300 for this headset. Overall, the Inzone H9 has a lot of potential. No doubt the sound quality is really good, but I think it's still a few updates away from being the quote unquote perfect for PS5 headset. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or interesting, make sure to leave a like rating, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. Also, get some interview.